Sure, sure. Right now what we're doing is this is basically an anti-police brutality march. And because of what happened in Oakland last night and the brutality that's happened, we're doing this in solidarity with Oakland. Because frankly, we as a nation are sick and tired of the way the police have been treating us and have been treating everybody around us. What's your understanding of what happened? Um, well, actually, I watched it on live stream, and they used uh, rubber bullets, they used flashbang grenades in order to disperse a, rel a pretty peaceful crowd. We are a peaceful movement. We are. There's no way around it. And, and for them to do stuff like that is just, it's out of hand and it's out of line. And they've been doing it to us at, at every, every step of the way. In, in Occupy LA, they may not have used the same exact tactics, but they did a lot of psychological things that we don't have the scars to prove. You know, but they do have the scars. Please call your name. Oh, my name is Joshua Taylor, J O S H U A, and uh, Taylor T A Y L O R. I'm Los Angeles, California. Currently, I'm a homeless veteran. And you, thank you very much. No problem. Have a good one. What else? Give me some. All right. Uh, Let's continue. Okay. Basically, you're a, you're a homeless veteran. Boom. I'm, I'm a homeless veteran, and I'm out here on the streets along with everybody else, all, all of my brothers and sisters, to out here to tell everybody that we don't need to, to to capitulate to them. We don't need to sit here and say it's okay for you to do whatever you do in the name of whatever justice you decide it is. You see, end the violence against the First Amendment. That's what I'm about, and that's what they're doing. Is they're violating us, and they're violating the First Amendment by doing what they're doing. And we as a people and as a nation have to stand up and say, no, we do not accept your brutality. We do not accept your violence. That's why we're here. And you filled out the Oakland P. What was the movement in Oakland? Uh, they, they were they, moving into suites. Yeah, yeah. They, they, what they, what Large they were buildings. doing is they were taking, a, taking over an, an unoccupied facility in order to house people because currently we have more facilities uh, unoccupied than we have homeless people. Okay, so if you just do the math, it's not that complicated. If we have all these people on the streets, like myself, you know, but this isn't, this isn't just about me, you know. I can go sleep on a couch. I, I don't mind sleeping on a tent. I, I was there's a large number of U.S. Veter homeless veterans yeah, there's in the Iraq War. Yeah, there's a huge number of homeless Have you received veterans. your benefits? I have not. I, I haven't received very many benefits. Out there, the government trick people or whoever's, not the whole government, but particular people in led, uh, that are doing withholding your benefits. Well, and a large amount of military people are missing their benefits. You know what else they're doing? You know what else they're doing? The, the federal government decided to s sell land that was bequeathed to veterans strictly on the grounds of homelessness. Um, we were actually giving property so that we can house homeless uh, veterans and they actually sold it off to places like Walmart, to Enterprise, to big giant corporations. At probably pennies on the oh, dollar. Yeah. Pennies on the dollar, especially if you notice that that... Uh, That's not government's job to be buying and selling property for their cronies, no, it, for it, their corporate masters. It, it's not their... what their job... The, 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 the fuck y'all doing? For the po ...is for the people. Their job is to make sure that we are okay. Their job is to guard our civil liberties and our rights. If, to, if they take any action, it needs to be for the empowerment and protection of the 99. Mm -hmm. And obviously they decided 1%. So where do we go from now? We got Congress at 90% approval level, 9 to 10. President wavering. Uh, and the only thing he's holding up is a promise, which he's <laughs> never going to fulfill. Where do we as Occupy... Uh, movement or where should we be thinking about headed within the movement as we come up to spring? I, I, I wish I could say that we need to get people on the ballot and get them inside the system so that we can actually try to fix it from what's inside. That's the way I used to think. The problem is, is this system is built to such to where honest politicians, honest people who are actually out there trying to get things done for us, for the people, can't make any headway because they are outspent literally 20 to 30 to 40 times more than the average person can even hope to garner <coughs> support. I mean, I, I helped an elected official. I've got a bachelor's degree in political science, and I've backed a couple of ethical candidates, and every single time we've tried to get anywhere, we were always outspent by, like, unbelievable amounts. I mean, we only had, we had, like, $2,000 to amount a campaign, or to amount a campaign, and he was outspent about thirty to $40,000. Well, yeah, if you can't reach the people, or promote to the people, whatever you're doing, market, you, you can't reach the people. The first thing we got Unless do. you take different tactics. Mm -hmm. That's why we're out here. That's why we're MacArthur out here. MacArthur Park. We got to get this. We got to get the people. They've got to be marching got, with us. They got to be marching with us. And I wanted that. I wanted to do a round. But this is uh, this is picnic number two. And we're doing 
We're hanging in there. This is going to be a tradition. Sundays between 1.30 and 5. That's right. That's right. Every Sunday, MacArthur Park, we are here to spread hot the luck word picnic. and hot luck and have some fun. And, and all love. And discuss what's currently going on because a lot of the stuff we talk about isn't shown on the mainstream media because they own that too. Right. It's a media blackout. Thank yep. you.